Now let's look a little bit at the human respiratory system as we talk about the health risks asbestos can cause and what it does. This diagram here shows uh, how people breathe in through their, their nose and down through their throat into their lungs. And we have a diagram of the lungs and over on the left, it kind of zooms in on the alveoli uh, where a lot of the gas exchange processes happen and breathing happens. This is where asbestos attacks. We'll zoom in a little further on those so you can kind of see in each one of those that looks like a, a little cluster, that's where asbestos fibers get lodged in and they start causing your health issues. The asbestos fibers that bypass the upper airway defenses are initially deposited in the region of the respiratory bronchioles and the alveolar ducts. These fibers go in, and if your uh, upper airway defenses, like the hair in your nose and other sorts of things that are designed to prevent you from breathing bad things, if those fail, the fibers are going to go and get jammed inside your alveoli and other areas in that region. And that's followed by a rapid accumulation of pulmonary macrophages, which try to phagocytose the shorter asbestos fibers and attempt to phagocytose the longer ones as well. So back to this picture that we saw, this was a case where a pulmonary macrophage was not able to phagocytose the chrysotile fiber and the biological reactions that follow that frustrated phagocytosis are what leads to the development of asbestosis. Asbestosis is a disease that is progressive, which means when you get it, it's going to continue to get worse and it affects your breathing. Mm -hmm. 